Welcome to this tutorial video. Today, we will learn how to create and use filter views in Google Sheets. Let's get right into it. Select the range of data you would like to filter. In this case, we will choose the whole table. From the toolbar, click on the Filter Views icon. From the drop-down menu, select Create New Filter View. Instantly, Google Sheets has created filters for each header. Label the view with the name of your choice. Let's go ahead and filter the products column. For that, click the filter icon of the column to open its drop-down menu. Scroll down right to the end. Here we have a list of unique entries in this column. Since in this case, we're trying to find how many mouse sales do we have, we'll deselect all other products. Let's click OK and see if it works. There we go. We have successfully created a filter view. The cool thing about filter views is that you can create as many as you like and switch between them. To view all filter views you've created, click the filter view icon. This part of the drop-down menu stores the created views. Let's go ahead and create a new filter view to see how switching works. This time, we'll create a view that displays all sales below $150. First, go back to the original view. Click None to do that, and then simply repeat the same steps. From the Filter drop-down, we'll sort using a different function. Select Filter by Condition. Click on the drop-down menu to view the various filtering preferences. We'll go ahead with the less than filter in this case. In the value field, type $150. Click OK. With the second filter view created, you should now be able to switch between both. You may create a duplicate or delete a specific filter view, or even all of them. If you'd like to create a duplicate, first select the view that should be copied. Click the View's Setting button from its header, select Duplicate. If you wish to remove a specific view, click Settings again, and then click Delete. To delete all, simply open the Filter View drop-down menu. Select Delete All Filter Views. The last two possibilities that this function is to rename or redefine the data range. Both can be edited from the View header here. You can simply click and change these preferences to your liking. There we have it, folks. This is all about filter views. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful Google Sheets tips. Thanks for watching.